I'm sorry I can't be there with you tonight. When I wrote I was only 19, I was simply telling the story of my brother-in-law Mick Storen. Mick was deployed to Vietnam in 1969 and he'd been involved in a very serious mine incident in the Long High Hills. Our Vietnam veterans came home to a bitterly divided society and they fell into the cracks. As opposed to the well-meant inquiries, commissions and parliamentary committees, in four minutes, 19 seconds, I was only 19, enabled ordinary Australians to walk in the shoes and look out of the eyes of our Vietnam veterans. It stopped all of us in our tracks. We Australians are fundamentally decent and fair. And once we got it, we all look back in shame at how we treated our Vietnam veterans. I don't think we'll make that mistake again. What I didn't realise until much later is that I was only 19 is a sort of quickly understandable dissertation on post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as the effects of herbicides and insecticides on our Vietnam veterans. A few years ago, I scripted and narrated a DVD for the Army on post-traumatic stress disorder. It was designed for soldiers pre and post deployment. I interviewed a wide range of veterans from Vietnam, East Timor, Somalia, Rwanda, Iraq and Afghanistan. And like Mick Storen, all these blokes had the courage to tell their PTSD stories so that their other comrades wouldn't have to suffer alone for years like they did. One of the most arresting stories I was told came from a Vietnam veteran. When he demobbed, he tried to slip back into his life in rural Queensland. He wasn't having a very good time. He had rashes that came and went, but his doctor told him they were due to his wife using too much detergent when she washed his clothes. His toenails fell out, but his doctor told him it was athlete's foot. He suffered from insomnia, but his doctor told him he was drinking too much coffee. When he heard 19 for the first time, he told me he was driving on a country Queensland road. He pulled over onto the verge and listened to the song. And then he cried. And after he dried his eyes, he told me his first thought was, those bastards have been lying to me. Because clearly, if some bloke could write a song that spoke directly to his heart and his experience, he was not the only one. He sought out other vets and found there were veteran support groups scattered all over the place, loose, unstructured, but all determined to fight for justice and a voice. It was the start of a movement. I Was Only 19 has lasted so long because among other things, it speaks the truth about PTSD. It sets it in a real life context. What I've learned about PTSD is this, it doesn't mean you're soft, it means you're human. Armed combat is the highest form of public service. When Australian serving men and women come home from whatever conflict our government sends them to, we owe them and their families all the help and support that we can possibly give them. They didn't count the cost and neither should we. We honour our veterans and we must stand beside them when they face the difficult challenges of coming home, so often bringing with them psychological as well as physical injuries. Oh, and one last thing, don't let anyone ever tell you that songs can't change the world. Mum and Dad and Denny saw the passing out parade at Puckapunyal. It was a long march from cadets. In the 6th Battalion was the next to tour. It was me who drew the card. We did Canungra, Shoalwater, before we left. And Townsville lined the footpaths as we marched down to the quay. This clipping from the paper shows us young and strong and clean. And there's me in me slouch hat with me SLR and greens. God help me. I was only 19. From Huntel, Brighton, Chinooks to the dust at New Edad. I'd been in and out of choppers now for months And we made our tents a home VB and pin-ups On the loggers and an Asian orange sunset through the scrub And can you tell me, doctor, why I still can't get to sleep 
night time Just a jungle dark and a barking M16 What's this rash that comes and goes? Can you tell me what it means? God help me I was only 19 A four week operation When each step could mean your last one on two legs It was a war within yourself But you wouldn't let your mates down Till they had you dusted off So you closed your eyes And you thought about something else And then someone yelled out Contact front! And the boat behind me swore We booked in there for hours Then it got all mighty raw Frankie kicked the mine the day that mankind kicked the moon God help me He was going home in June Tinnies in the Grand Hotel on a 36 hour wreck leave in Vung Tau. I can still hear Frankie lying screaming in the jungle till the morphine came and killed the bloody row. And the Anzac legends didn't mention Martin Blood and Tears. And the stories my father told me never seemed quite real. I caught some pieces in the back that I didn't even feel God help me I was only 19 And can you tell me doctor why I still can't get to sleep And why the Channel 7 chopper chills me to my feet And what's this rash that comes and goes Can you tell me what it means God help me I was only 19 